now to a debate in Europe about what to do with art and artifacts, many of which were stolen or looted from Africa and are now in museums across the continent and around the world. Inez de la Cuitara reports. These are the scenes sending shockwaves through museums around Europe. Activist Mozulu Diabonzo walking into museums of African art, like this one in Paris, and removing art from exhibits with the intention of getting caught. He never actually escapes with the art and says it's all meant to bring attention to the way some of these objects were acquired. European colonizers brutally stripping African nations of their treasures in the 19th century during the so-called scramble for Africa. Thousands were killed, important monuments and palaces destroyed. Je ne casse pas, je ne vole pas, je ne viole pas comme ils l'ont fait. Here's Diabanza at the Africa Museum in the Netherlands. And at the Quai Branly Museum in Paris. When confronted by security, he instead asks them for help. Vous, en tant que la police, vous êtes censé nous aider à identifier les voleurs qui ont volé ces biens. En 1880, en 1960, ces biens ont été pillés en Afrique. Tell me about this one. It's a debate you may have seen on display in The Black Panther, a movie by Disney, which is the parent company of ABC. <laughs> Don't trip. I'm going to take it off your hands for you. These items aren't for sale. How do you think your ancestors got these? You think they paid a fair price? Or did they take it like they took everything else? I have the right to be in the I have the right to have the rage, if it's faux. But I think that C'est plus l'ardeur. C'est là, mais nourri plus d'ardeur du combat. Diabanza has been repeatedly arrested. He's been fined thousands and sentenced to prison for attempted theft. He refers to his tactics as active diplomacy, but the judge who sentenced him after his stunt in Paris told him there are other ways of drawing the attention of politicians and the public to the issue of colonial theft. The Netherlands Africa Museum saying in a statement it understands the motives of the activists but disapproves of the way in which they made their statement. Diabanza's controversial moves coming as Europe engages in a fierce debate over whether looted art should be returned to Africa. A report commissioned by the French government in 2018 estimating that up to 90% of Africa's heritage lies outside the continent. When you grow up in uh, Europe, in the United States, in uh, Asia, you have museums. You know your story. You know where you come from. Uh, you have collections in the museums that speaks about who you are and how you can see the world. In Africa, you don't. When you go to museums, it's empty. It's up to each country's government, not museums, to decide whether to keep or return the art. Paris's Quai Branly Museum saying its policy is to investigate each country's claims and return works shown to be stolen or looted. Avec ces 26 oeuvres, Progress is being made. In October, France returned 26 objects to Benin, one to Senegal, and one to Madagascar, marking the first time a former colonial power sent a significant number of pieces back to Africa. Germany, the Netherlands, and the U.S. all also in active discussions to return looted art. Is it reasonable to uh, to tell young children today who are like 12 and uh, you know or university is it logical to tell them look we lost a war uh, 150 years ago so now everything is gone and you will never have an access to your history but some countries, like the UK, are holding firm. The British Museum, which holds the largest collection of Benin bronzes in the world, has yet to send any art back, telling us in a statement, the museum understands and recognizes the significance of the issues surrounding the return of objects and works with communities, colleagues, and museums across the globe to share the collection as widely as possible. Uh, actually uh, submitted a formal uh, request to the director of the British Museum to indicate our you know, intention to get these uh, artifacts repatriated to Nigeria. And uh, we are talking with them. Dr. Abba Tijani heads up Nigeria's Commission for Museums and Monuments. He tells us Nigeria is building a brand new museum meant to showcase the art that's being returned. One of the big arguments made against restitution is that museums in Africa may not have the resources to safeguard precious works. Why wouldn't uh, 
we look after them. You know, these artifacts were not even in a museum. It's a UNESCO, you know, convention that says that illicit, uh, illicitly trafficked uh, or stolen artifacts must be returned to their original owners. Building of museums and so on shouldn't be a condition for these artifacts to be returned. Diavanza welcomes the recent steps taken, but he says much more still needs to be done. So you want to go back and take more art? Aussi longtemps qu'ils vont continuer à désentêter, aussi longtemps qu'on mènera le combat. C'est pas la prison qui nous fait qui nous fait peur. He's now been banned from all museums in France and the Netherlands, but he says he has no plans to stop. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.